All right. I'm going to show you some extreme feats of flexibility, pushing the body beyond the limits of body pushing. I was born with a very rare muscular condition that allows me to do things with my body that most people can't do. Okay, that was a great reaction, but clapping is better. If you see something you like, clap and cheer. If you see something you don't like, clap and cheer. Makes me feel better. Here we go. <laughs> Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do this one balancing on my hands. It creates the illusion of danger. <sighs> Come on. I can't breathe. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. I'm going to take my two hands, hold them behind my back. I bring them over my head to the front without letting go. Give me a big yell if you want to see it. Damn it. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> I call this trick the rubber arms. Watch closely. Please, if there's any children here, don't try this until you get home. All right, I'm halfway there. This is the hard part. You've got a weak stomach, look the other way. These are not magic tricks. I'm just a freak. It hurts when you laugh. <laughs> Over the top, with the arms. Don't forget to buy my workout video. <laughs> uh, it's a boy. Now wait, don't clap yet, wait till I get to the end. When I get to the end, everyone clap, everyone cheer. After this, it gets even more extreme. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna to attempt to fit my entire body head to toe 300 pounds through this squash racket. Hands up if you think I can do it. Thanks for the support. Hands up if you don't think I can do it. Hands up if you don't give a damn if I can do it or not. Just, just do it, skinny man. I'll do it. I'll put my whole body through here, and then I'll put my whole body through here. I can actually poke my head through there, watch. Listen, if you want to enjoy these jokes, lower your standards now. <laughs> now to go through the little racket, I must take off my shirt. Please, no pointing and laughing. Oh, thank you, sir. Here we go. <laughs> One squash racket, one skinny Aussie. Check this out. I'll, I'll start from the top. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I bet when you woke up today, this is the last thing you thought you'd see. <laughs> it gets better. Get ready to clap and cheer. I'll tell you when. You know, the funniest thing is about this trick is I can't really do it. <laughs> All right, for my next trick. And I'll do it. Watch. This is where it gets even more difficult. <laughs> Good idea. Get your nipples pierced. <laughs> Don't worry, people. I know exactly what to do. Uh, 
That's how I roll. <laughs> One at a time. Ugh. Number two. You better clap after this. <laughs> Just this side. Just this side. Just this man. <laughs> All right, this is the hardest bit. I have to fit my butt through the racket. Now, this could be dangerous. I should move the parts of my body that are in danger out of the way. <laughs> Stay. It's my favorite joke in the whole show. It's a shame it's a joke. I'm going to attempt the impossible, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much space left in the racket. I'm going to try and fit this football through the racket. You guys want to see it? Do you believe it's possible? It's quite difficult. This football is fully inflated. I got it from Tom Brady. Is that funny? Someone told me to say that. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Was he the dad on the Brady Bunch? Sure. <laughs> football? Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, here's how I make space for the football. Right, here we go. I'm starting to wish I didn't eat that almond. <laughs> Check it out. I'm pregnant. I don't know who the mother is. <laughs> I'm going to try and get the ball to come all the way out. If the ball comes out, everyone clap and cheer because I think I'm bleeding in my pants. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to do this on 78. <laughs> All right, now the toughest thing about this trick is taking off the racket without taking off these pants. <laughs> Shut up, this is how I do it. <laughs> if you think this looks funny, you should see me in the nightclubs. <laughs> Always bring my racket. <laughs> I made a modification of this racket. I took out the strings <laughs> and I added a party button. And it has Instagram. Smile. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this off. When it comes off, go crazy. After this, it gets even more extreme. <sighs> Shut up. How would you do it? <laughs> now I know why it's called a squash racket. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most extreme feat of flexibility that I can do. Normally when I do this, the people watching don't know what to do. Normally everyone does this. Here's what you should do. Everyone watch him. Ladies and gentlemen, watch closely. If you're a doctor, you're going to love this. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, let me go back. Oh, <laughs> the other way. Oh, my God. Ooh. <laughs> did it, did, did it, do. <laughs> I know what to do. I go back one arm at a time. Check it out. Uh oh. <laughs> Um, okay, I've made a mistake. <laughs> you all have to leave. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to get up. If I get out of this, I want you guys to go nuts. Hey.
Come on, people. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Al Miller. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and uh, you may have noticed that I'm not normal. <laughs> I was born in Australia. I was only seven pounds, but I was two feet long when I came out. I was basically like a little piece of spaghetti. <laughs> now, all kids are really flexible when they're young, but I never grew out of it. It turns out that I have a condition called EDS, uh, better known as uh, hypermobility. Now, my whole life, I gravitated towards um, like things that use my flexibility, like, uh, for instance, race walking. <laughs> Check out the bend on that leg. Yeah, slides would be nice. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I was a race walker, which was pretty cool. When I was young, 12 years old, I was a champion. And, uh, but you know, in high school, it was kind of difficult for me because I was a bit of a weirdo, a race walking weirdo, <laughs> bendy, pimple-faced weirdo. <laughs> so uh, you know, it was kind of hard for me. I had a lot of bad behavior, a lot of attention seeking, and, uh, and I turned that into a career, basically, <laughs> which is nice. Because the good thing about this is people like to watch a freak. And uh, since then, I've performed in 20 countries, no, more than 20 countries for over the 20 years. And uh, I've performed in a lot of really special places for a lot of really special people. <laughs> so the, and, the, and I make a, a lot of great uh, home family photos as well. <laughs> right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what my point is, uh, if you're born different, uh, that's good. That's a good thing. It means you're unique, and you can carve your way through your life by being unique. So, celebrate and embrace your inner freak. <laughs>